Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> what is it? What you doing? Making cookies. Are you going to do them for the video today? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Awesome. This will be your first, what do I call it? Your first time making a recipe on the video. The What is this? The YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be back in a minute, guys. <sighs> Waiting on girls. project I did a couple years ago and I have wanted to do it ever since and it just never worked out so today is the day. This is a Thanksgiving. I'm giving thanks for my friends. This is all for them. Now Alyssa has all of her stuff measured out for the cookies that she will be doing but I wanted to show you something else. Look at these little bottles. I found these on Amazon. Aren't they the cutest? They came with lids. One is a solid lid. But the other has this little hole for a straw. And it comes with the straws. These are on Amazon. I don't have an affiliate link, but I'll go back and see if I can find it and link it down below for you in case you would like to do this. Um, you don't have to use these jars. You can use any kind of container, but what we're doing with them is the other extra fun part. While Alyssa is making pumpkin sugar, pumpkin spice sugar cookies, we're going to be heating up pumpkin spice lattes in the crock pot. So, are you ready? I'm so excited, let's go. All right, little lady. I can go now? You can go now. Tell us what you're doing. I'm gonna add how much sugar? One and a half cups of sugar. And this is why you can't record me doing stuff. You're fine. How many tablespoons is 14? Yeah, 14. 14 tablespoons of room temperature butter. Eight tablespoons. Now she's cutting off the two. Here, I'll take that for you. The trash Thank is over you. here. turn the mixer on mix the sugar and butter uh, it's not plugged in <laughs> you're related to your mama okay what are you adding in now I'm gonna slowly mix in the egg oh I left it over there sorry Egg yolk. Well, we actually used the whole egg. Yeah. I don't want to waste. Now, puree, actually. Scrape it up off the side. Let that mix in a little bit more. Now we're going to put in the puree, the pumpkin puree. This is half a cup. Mix it a little bit more. We're 
we're gonna combine the flour, baking powder, salt, pie spice, and cinnamon. How much of the ingredients? One teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon pumpkin spice, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Without flinging it out of the bowl. Alyssa, didn't we adjust the pumpkin pie spice? Yeah, I said the adjusted measure. Oh. Adjusted measurement. Good job. Okay, now what? Now we're going to add this flour mixture in slowly. Oh, wait. Can I offer that you might want to do that with the spoon and turn it off in between adding it? Okay. <laughs> I have just learned that that keeps the flour from going everywhere. Make sure you're also stopping to scrape the bottom of the bowl. Alyssa just realized it wasn't getting it. So that's what she's doing now before she adds more flour. All right. And we're going to add some more to the mixture. Still getting everywhere, but oh well. Uh, not as bad as if the paddle were going. Yeah. Careful. You just continue this process of adding the flour and scraping until all of the flour is mixed in. We'll probably get it all in this next edition. Go. That's the last of it. the last of the flour in. Oh. Now we've got flour everywhere. It's okay. It happens. She also just realized she forgot the vanilla. So we're going to mix this in. That's probably good enough, Aggie. And go ahead and add the vanilla. Let it mix in. Two tablespoons. No, two teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> Just two. Psh, psh. Okay. Psh, psh. Do one, one little one. Yeah, one. that's good enough. Okay. This is strong vanilla, so even if that's not enough, it's enough. <laughs> that's the homemade Madagascar vanilla. All right, on we go. Well, I guess that does help, huh? I'm glad yeah. I stopped. Taste it, Alyssa. It's really good. It tastes like pumpkin pie. That's really good. It's all done. Now we have to refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Yes, because guys, these are really sticky. It's a really soft dough. So you want to chill it so you can form balls with it for the cookies. Yeah. We're going to preheat the oven to 350 while the dough is chilling. <laughs> and we're going to clean up the dishes and the flour. All right, guys. While the cookies are chilling, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up our lattes. So what we need to do is whisk together the pumpkin. Oh, I need the milk. Can you grab the milk for me? This is a rounded two-thirds cup of pumpkin puree. Thanks, buddy. And then we're going to do a whole half gallon of milk. If I can open it. 
Okay guys, I'm just going to mix in the whole half gallon of milk into the, I don't know if I want the whole half gallon. The whole half gallon minus that <laughs> into the crock pot. I will add more at the end if I need it. And this is totally up to you how much you want to use. Three tablespoons. No, of, do it right. Three tablespoons of black sh brown sugar. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Three teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Three tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of sugar. You pour it all at one time. That's it. You just keep mixing. To include Jake, can't leave him out. He's mixing, mixing, mixing. That spice doesn't mix in very well. You just have to keep going. And it won't all dissolve. It'll float or sink. Alright, now we're going to add in the six cups of coffee. Please don't burn me. Uh-oh, -uh, it's rushing, don't need it. Coffee. Oh, get every last drop. Oh, will the last drop. <laughs> right out of the pot. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, we're just going to let this simmer. We don't want it to boil because it will make a film. Don't do that. But when we're ready, when it's good and hot, we will add, I think, a half a cup of cream and two tablespoons of vanilla. And we'll taste it if it needs that last little bit of milk. We'll add that too. We also need to get our bottles washed because we want to put them in here before we deliver them. We'll put them in here. Put the latte in there. <laughs> We're struggling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. I was just telling you you have to start the camera for it to record. Yeah, that helps, huh? Remember, scrape it across and get it flat. Scrape it on the bowl, baby. Don't worry about your finger. Get your finger out of it. Okay. <laughs> Keep her finger out of it. All right. She's just scooping it into the little cookie scoop. Now that I can convince her to keep her fingers out of it. No, it's fine. Just drop them. And we're going to do at least six rows of three. Scrape it across the Thing, but fill it up all the way there you go and now that that's on the side is not going to drop off just drop the cookie oh, that's like half a cookie that's why you got to make sure it's full There we go. Now, how long do we put these in the oven for? 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, guys. The first pan is done. You need to let them cool on this pan for about two minutes before you move them to a cooling rack. All right. Look at the texture. It's Mmm, it's exquisite. Ah, and the the breaking apartness, it is some fancy chef food. Is Gordon Ramsay approved? Is who approved? Gordon Ramsay. Mm. Look at here, guys. Oh, it looks so good. Just gonna stir it up, and I'm ready to bottle. I have a funnel that I'm going to use to fill it very carefully. We'll 
we'll just continue till all the bottles are full. Okay guys, let me tell you what I did. I took three of the cookies and wrapped them in a paper towel because I didn't want them to sweat inside of the little baggie. I had to have the baggie so that when I was ready to wrap them in butcher paper, they would not get grease on it. Then, um, I just wrapped them in a little pocket of the butcher paper. Then I wrapped each package with a little bit of twine, just to make it pretty. Then I wrote a little note on the outside of each of those packages. And then I took the jars of the lattes and I put them together with a lid and a straw, the lid with a hole, and just wrapped a little of the twine around those just to make them pretty. Then they were ready to go. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until we meet again, may you be blessed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, or comment, or all of the above. Love you guys.